ta-da! Okay, something I've been doing by scratch lately, and it'll be by scratch, from scratch, is uh, making my own mayonnaise. Just one of those things that I don't want to buy at the grocery store anymore. I want to make it with my own ingredients, and I want to make it with my backyard eggs, and so start with the backyard egg, and I think that it's fine, and it's never been refrigerated, and I think that's perfectly healthy. If you want to start with a pasteurized egg, be my guest. Um, and the USDA says, recommends against this because uh, they say that you might get sick from doing it, but I think that some of the things that the USDA actually recommends might make you sick too. So I like to use this little jar. It's an old jam jar with a cute lid. has a nice big opening because I make mayonnaise with my immersion blender and it fits in here really nicely. Um, I like to use Alton Brown's recipe and uh, except I use a whole egg. He calls for just the yolk and I've seen some recipes that use just the yolk but I choose to use the whole egg because why would I want to waste the rest of the egg? So uh, start with the egg and with the dry ingredients and the dry ingredients are teaspoon salt. I use a little bit less than half teaspoon because it's sea salt. I'm going to pour that in there. Jeremy just got home from working. Not work because he doesn't actually have a child. Shh! Don't, don't tell anyone. Half teaspoon of dry mustard powder. And two pinches, says Alton Brown, of sugar, but Basically, two pinches is less than a quarter teaspoon, so, I mean, you know. And, uh, with those, uh, dry ingredients in the egg, to get things started. And then, he calls for wet ingredients, too. And you can make mayonnaise with less than, you know, I saw online, like, a recipe for three ingredient mayonnaise or something and like that's fine but um, I feel like this helps improve the flavor uh, makes it really tasty and makes it taste more like the mayonnaise that I am used to um, first wet ingredient is a tablespoon of white wine vinegar and then two teaspoons of lemon juice fresh if you've got it, but, you know, second best is also a good option. So, and at this point, uh, we only put in half of that and save the rest for a little bit later. Now, the tricky thing, the tricky thing with mayonnaise and where people struggle is uh, turning it into a complete emulsion. Um, that is where you get the fat molecules to be completely suspended within the within the liquid and um, the fat in this I like to use half um, generally they recommend a light flavored oil and um, but I like to use olive oil because olive oil is a I, I, is a healthy choice and so but olive oil is also really strong flavor so I only like to use half olive oil and then I use half something else like canola oil but uh, preferably a non-GMO canola oil and his recipe calls for one cup I've seen recipes for the egg one egg or two yolks call for anywhere from half cup to one cup um, but I choose one cup and I'll show why in just a minute. So the tricky thing is getting started. You can't just pour the oil in or else it's never going to set up. It's never going to be it's not going to be emulsified. You have to start really slow and do it drop by drop and and that's really hard to do out of anything even if it's with a little spout like this it's hard to do. So my special trick is to use a dropper. And uh, I just got this free from the pharmacy at the grocery store and with a prescription one time. This is a baby medicine dropper. Um, so, I don't know, you could try it, might give it to you for free, or, uh, I know they sell them there too for like $2.99 or something, but this was free from behind the counter. 
so it never hurts to try. And so that's my trick for getting a drop to drop, just to get started um, until the oil, until the uh, egg starts to, and the oil starts to look emulsified in the egg and starts to kind of lighten up the color. So we're going to get started just kind of drip at a time. <laughs> definitely has a lighter color and I forgot it's really important to start with a room temperature egg too regardless if you're using one from the grocery store or one from the backyard. Um, I'm gonna keep going. enough to start putting it in just a little drizzle at a time with just from the cup. starting to thicken up more than it was. Um, I'm not about halfway yet. When I get halfway, I'm going to stop. And I'm going to add in the rest of my liquids from before. it back up just a little bit and then at this point you continue to add as much oil until it gets the consistency that you want and the, the key is if, if it thickens up too much you can add a little bit more of the liquids the white wine vinegar or the um, lemon juice and if it if it is too thin then you keep adding more oil and that doesn't make sense but it's an emulsification and so it as you add more oil then it thickens up so I'm going to add just a little more oil how you make mayonnaise. And it took like, you know, it doesn't take very long when you are in the habit of doing it. And um, this mayonnaise stands up on a spatula. People make mayonnaise. I saw someone on their blog that had mayonnaise and it was all liquidy because they didn't have a proper motion and they're like, well, you know, this is just how homemade mayonnaise is. And uh, no, this is this is how homemade mayonnaise is. It, uh, it's plenty thick and uh, will stand up on a spatula and someone said you have to use coconut oil to make it thicker and coconut oil is a fine oil to use if you want but um, you know but it's not necessary to make thick mayonnaise. There's the, uh, there's the mayonnaise and uh, made from backyard chicken egg and good ingredients and I know it's in there and there's nothing extra that I don't want in there and that is why I don't buy mayonnaise from the store anymore and uh, now you're armed with the power to not buy mayonnaise from the store either 
should, should you so choose.